Welcome ladies and, and uh, gentlemen to Warwick Science's Year 9 Film Practical of Acid and Metal Reactions. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to add an acid to these six metals that are placed within the test tube here um, and then we're going to see uh, what happens at, as a result to try and figure out the general equation for what you get when you mix it acid with a metal. Now as usual with our practicals there will be a write up that will come up on the screen if you'd like to pause the video get that down and then commence when you have completed that. Okay, now I've just changed the uh, angle slightly so it's a little bit easier to see here. What we have is we have six common metals that we use within the laboratory and we have a sample of uh, each of them down in there. So we have iron, magnesium, copper, aluminium, and I forgot to put an aluminium piece in there so I'll just chuck a couple of aluminium pieces in. Uh, tin which is SN and zinc now again obviously with this particular prac the idea is to make sure that everything's labeled everything's easy to see and everything's easy to um, to read now what I'm going to do is again using our good friend uh, tool molar hydrochloric acid and this one's got the corrosive sign on it and what that tells us is that it is in fact corrosive so um, what we'll do is we'll place over the top so two squirts into each of these. Now probably it's not a bad thing to take it out and have a bit of a look where we can. Okay, there's um, just a little few bubbles forming around the outside there of the iron. Um, not a great deal of movement. Magnesium, obviously you can see it there. It's a very vigorous bubbling, okay. Um, the gas being produced it gets very warm so you can do that for your observations and what I'll do is I'll just because we're collecting um, because it's producing a gas we'll collect it so I'll just flop that one over there for now our next one will be copper and put as we do two squirts over the top of the copper and you can see there that there's nothing happening at all it's just basically like water onto it we'll do the same for aluminium So, and again, nothing with aluminium, no bubbles being formed on the, uh, on the surface, nothing in there. Now, we work our way with tin, SN. Um, and again, tin's not a super reactive metal, can, um, but again, nothing, nothing happening there uh, at all. And then our final one is zinc so and with the zinc there yeah there's some bubbles coming off it's pretty hard to see when you look at it but there's a few bubbles coming off and a few bubbles being produced um, there now again let's just quickly run through we've got some gas uh, some bubbles uh, being produced here you can see that starting to work into there now as it actually burns and gets rid of the coating on the outside and that's the reason why it was a little bit slow to start had had to get rid of the iron oxide coating on it but that's starting to produce some bubbles our magnesium here which is this one has bubbled furiously we've got nothing nothing and nothing and then we've got some zinc starting to bubble there as well as the coating starts to wear off now let's specifically have a look at our good friend of magnesium so obviously we've produced a gas here the question is what gas have we produced now of the three gases that we have here at school we have oxygen carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas we can immediately rule out carbon dioxide because of the way that that this gas here is collected this is using what we call the downward displacement of air which means that the gas is filling up up the test tube pushing air out so it's either going to be left with oxygen or uh, hydrogen gas and the easiest way to test if it's hydrogen gas first of all is by what we call the pop test and the pop test basically is where we set the hydrogen gas on fire now we use a flint for that 
and you can see there we had the pop so what we've in fact produced here has been hydrogen gas so of the two things that we have produced with an acid metal reaction we know that one is is hydrogen gas the question is what is the other one uh, the other substance that is being produced as a result of the reaction now chemistry is a subject that's about repetition so things repeat itself over and over again so with an acid and a base we had um, a salt plus water with a carbonate we had salt plus carbon dioxide plus water um, and with the acid metal we've got an acid plus a metal gives us hydrogen gas plus something else um, that should be enough information there to be able to work that one out for you once again once the experiment's been done and you've completed it uh, go and see your classroom teacher make sure that everything's correct and and thank you very much for accessing Warwick Sciences acid metal film practical